everyone. Welcome back to Just Spooling Around. We're on block nine, the hourglass block. All right, you can see I got the pattern here. I hope you have your fabrics all cut and you're ready to go. Our first step is we're gonna make a four patch. So you're gonna take your squares and you're going to join your dark to your lights. You're gonna make one, two, three, four sets of them. Once you join, you're going to press and then you're gonna, once you're making pairs, and then you're gonna join your pairs to make a four patch and make sure that your colors, as in mine are the medium blue, are opposite each other on the diagonal of your four patch. And if you would like, on the back, you can spin your seam. Now remember, once you press, you want to nest your seams. Your four patch will lay nice and flat. So for the next step is we are going to be making our da -da -da, half square triangle. You're gonna draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on the wrong side of your lighter fabric, whichever one you can see the line on. And next, you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam on either side of the line. And from there, you're going to cut it apart. So we have two. Now, the ink pen that I used to draw on my fabric, which goes away from the heat of the iron, is a Frixion clicker and I love it. And it also it has eraser and I have a purple one and a blue one. All right, so you're gonna press towards the dark. Now I am using patriotic colors for this block because Independence Day is coming up soon. So I thought, why not? All right, for your next step, we're gonna trim these down. I'm ready to assemble my block. I have two four patches and I have two half score triangles. Notice I have two shades of blue, just like I do in the image of the block in the pattern. I only switched to a white background to go along with my patriotic theme. So our next step, we will join right sides together. We will join these two together and then these two and then pull it all together to make our, our glass block. Now it's time to frame the block. As you can see, I chose red for my spool because I used the blue as the main block in the center of the spool block. So go ahead, get your framing pieces, join right sides together and press towards your frame. Again, you'll do the left and right and do the top and bottom. And then we will add our spool top and bottom, but we have to add our other side piece too. I have my left and right side frame pieces joined. Now I will do my top and bottom frame pieces. Now it's time to add the left and right side of your lighter color frames and the top and bottom of your spool to finish off your spool block. Ta-da, block number nine is done, the hourglass block. You know what, I, I, at first I was a little unsure about making it red, white, and blue, but I think it's kind of cute. I could see it with um, white with red polka dots too. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe this color should be white with red polka dots. So anyway, okay. I hope you're enjoying just spooling around. I hope you're learning something. Hope you're learning new things or maybe even you're, you're building your skill. So join me next week or look in your email for block number 10. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer June day. See you next time.